in the last session we learned about creating pipelines using templates um, there are a bunch of uh, available templates which you could just use and get started real quick we also saw how you could just integrate your linked service with Azure Key Vault and fetch out credentials from there um, we were stuck and we couldn't save the templates which um, with converting this GUI task into certain JSON we weren't able to do that because we did not have our source code set up in Azure Data Factory why do you need to do that it's just a GUI which you just need to get started real quick right so for the for the better use of Azure Data Factory and to understand who are making uh, what changes if there are multiple uh, users who are working and you always don't want to go to Azure monitor section and track track down who did what Azure Data Factory gives you a better authoring experience by providing you a platform or a feature to to collaborate just like you would have done in a in, in a generic software development lifecycle where developer code and write code and would push in all their changes so that it helps you to track down who made what changes to do the audit or track changes ability to revert changes that was uh, in, that introduced some sort of bugs better collaborate gives you a better CI CD experience and all of this can be achieved using Azure da da Data Factory as well so let's go ahead and try to do that if you click so there are two ways to do that one is um, setting up the code repository can be done when you start uh, creating your Azure Data Factory account remember you had uh, we had a source uh, code repository section uh, or you can once you have just created you could just go to the live mode right over here and uh, the live mode is where you start actually start um, configuring uh, your your GUI and and that is without your source code repository so if you come back over here manage section and go to git configuration uh, I've already uh, connected one of my github repository I am going to disconnect that and I'm we're gonna do it right from the scratch alright that's been done if you click right over here you haven't got any source code repository set up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the setup code repository or you can just come back in the manage section and con click on the get configuration uh, rightly get started from here so I'm gonna click over here click on github and use my github account that's going to be shan0809 and I'm gonna continue um, I can either get list of all the repos which I want to sync with or you can just use the repository links if I go to my Azure data factory repo I I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the repo link and I am gonna paste it right over here and I'm gonna use the branch at the moment I've got only one branch that is going to be main and then the publish artifact going to be with this name um, you could just post it in a root folder or you could just create one more what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit on apply and that is going to configure the repository for us once it has configured what's gonna happen is everything which you see in the GUI gonna be replicated onto your I on your repository under your github repository so there are two options one is using the github or you could use Azure DevOps account as well I can either use the existing one or I can just create a new branch as well for now I am going to use the existing one um, that's going to be main hit on save and that's going to save all of my configuration right on my github repository if you come back onto your github repo you would see that there are certain folders being created one is the pipeline now pipeline saves um, your actual task which was move pipeline and that has got the user properties um, that has got a bunch of uh, child items and th this was one for each activity which actually iterated through all the files copy the file there are certain retry section as well and then you've got the delete file activity as well which also iterates through all of them if you go back 
and if you go to link service this link service would have all of your link service the first one is the um, the the storage account in the blob uh, link service then we have got the key wall link service uh, which already have your base url but haven't got any of the credential the, the, that's pretty safe once you want to push it to the source code repository and then you have all the details about your data factory principal id tenant id which location is uh, it is situated and what's the name of your data factory if you come back over here again it's going to give you a data set as well what's the destination what's the source folder um, and then it's going to give you the file details and a lot of other details about your source so you could always just um, start making changes right over here and start deploying as well and you can track who did what and what changes actually happened in the background and now if you come back into your author section and you could just uh, go to the pipeline and start uh, publishing all the changes which you created you could just add a new uh, ta new task as well uh, if you wanted to you could if you wanted to use a mo probably a data flow task you could just drag it and start pushing all your changes from there as well all right, so this is how you could just uh, easily get started and configure your GitHub repositories with your Azure Data Factory. You could have done it using the um, you could you could have done it using your Azure DevOps account as well. However, we chose to do it using the um, using GitHub. If you notice over here, there are two options. One is uh, what you are into now is uh, is actually the 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 source code repository version however you could just always switch to the live one which actually has all your files and all your activities you could just save uh, it as a template and then now if you just hit on save template that's going to uh, save all your files and the templates has been saved so once you save your template if you go back to your github repository you would see that we have got a template right over here and we've got two temp two files remember we spoke about uh, there would be two files generated move file and manifest file and this is what you can use it for uh, other deployment as well what we're going to see in our upcoming videos where you could just use these templates and deploy it for multiple environments once you've tested and validated for dev environment or one of the environment you could do it for other environments as well all right so that's how it it kind of works that's how you could just use the um, source code functionality and use the continuous integration and delivery feature in azure data factory i hope this was informative thank you